Well, I guess there's enough fish in the harbor to uh, support all these cormorants. Uh, my path back to my slip uh, had me out on this tack right through their, I guess their fishing grounds. It's interesting to hear them all taking off. There's uh, quite a few birds there. wanted to uh, close off um, this video on my electric motor um, just to close off summary I'll do some performance testing and include them in the video but um, when I was um, when I installed it originally uh, it looked like it was going okay because it was in the air but then under load when I dropped it in the water um, advancing the throttle and forward or reverse would cut out and even at a lower RPM um, it kind of works out to maybe about 10-15% power um, even at that low amount of power it would just cut out and re reboot is actually what was happening so the unit isn't supposed to do that so I suspected that it was the controller and I kind of suspected for about three days I tried different things I finally talked with um, Golden Motor and uh, they were very good he gave me another one to try uh, so I got to bring the other one back for him. Um, but essentially, uh, what was wrong with it was the controller. Uh, even though I didn't quite have things aligned, uh, my neighbor uh, Dustin here gave me a hand. I popped over and he took a look at my pulley alignment and he showed me that if the belt is, because uh, it's an inch and a half wide belt, so if the front is a different tension than the back, then that's how you can tell which way the alignment was. And it was wearing a little bit funny. So I can see that I, I straightened it a lot more, um, but it's uh, it needs a little bit of uh, straightening. So what did I learn? I learned that uh, trust your instinct. Um, I knew that it was the controller and uh, I should have just did that first. Uh, four days of uh, diagnosing, um, troubleshooting, opening up a uh, post on the forum, a lot of good help, a lot of good ideas. Uh, just was none of it was any any very good except for the one gentleman who uh, runs the bolt and he said that he sounded like that because the controller was faulty and that sort of seconded what I was thinking. Um, so that part was good to resolve. Uh, so pretty glad about that. So it's uh, June twelfth. Uh, we still got a lot to do. Get the solar panels on. It's a little bit windy for me to go out by myself. Um, tomorrow evening it's going to be pretty quiet uh, so I'm going to um, motor out during the day around two o'clock and I'm just going to do a little bit of a light sailing to test the sails out because it's going to be four knots so it's pretty light. Um, I should be able to single handle docking uh, tomorrow uh, so I just got to remember to move all my buoys to the other side because I normally go in frontwards uh, so I can step off uh, myself when I uh, single uh, dock at the um, uh, at my finger uh... well it's a uh, pretty 0.6 knot wind day, so a good day to test the motor. Uh, I know I'll probably get a couple of knots out there.
I ran this uh, motor test for about 20 minutes here, uh, just getting out of my uh, slip and just a little bit into the harbor. And I used about 5% of my total capacity. Um, I have eight uh, six volt deep cell batteries in series and they are rated at a draw rate of 25 amps. I should get 440 minutes. Um, so my battery monitor was pretty close. Uh, 20 minutes used up 5%. So that's about the same uh, rate. So I wasn't pushing to it too hard. So as long as I keep it uh, under the 30 amp mark, then uh, I'm going to get pretty close to 400 minutes uh, out of my batteries. Probably coming in at about 1.5 knots uh, around this uh, large houseboat here and then uh, I find that as long as I've got a little bit of a headwind I pretty much drift to zero by the time I get to the dock. Um, if I don't have any headwind or I've got a tailwind then uh, sometimes I have to uh, put a little reverse on it. Well, uh, single-handed docking here, uh, I think I did pretty good if I remember right, coming in, that's not too difficult uh, with this low wind, that's a little harder when I've got a tailwind. You know, an experienced sailor once told me, he says, if you're bored uh, coming in, then you're going uh, at the right speed. If you're not bored, then you're coming in too fast. Right, getting those lines ready, get that brake line on. Nice. And uh, here I'm just making sure, second guessing myself, is this brake line going to hold? Uh, and it does, it snaps over. I think the one drawback of this uh, electric motor when I come in is that my neighbors don't hear me anymore. Uh, the gas motor was a little bit louder, so somebody else would always run out and give me a hand. So, solo docking. Uh, I've been doing a lot more solo there recently with this electric motor. Nobody can hear me coming in. <laughs> 